Hello there everyone, Jedi Brick here. Today I'm going to be taking a look at set 75350, the Clone Commander Cody Helmet. So this came out last year for $70 here in the United States, but you can find this set on sale on places like Amazon for about $55. And if you are interested in picking this set up, I do have a link to Amazon in the description. Um, it is an affiliate link, so if you purchase this set or anything else using my link, I will get a small commission and it will be costing you guys nothing extra. So, if you are interested in buying this set or any other LEGO Star Wars sets, please consider using my link. It would really help out the channel, but let's get into the review of this set. So, starting off with the box, it is a very simple looking box. Uh, this being an 18 plus set, they go for that very minimalist style box art with just the helmet on display here. And you have the black um, background. So you do have the Lego logo and the Star Wars logo there on the bottom. You have the 18 plus um, logo and the set number and the piece number, which is 766. So not a whole lot to look at here on the box, but at the top you can see the name of the set as well as the Republic logo, which is a nice inclusion for a set like this. But taking a look at the side of the box, you can see it says Helmet Collection. And we have the 20th anniversary of the Clone Wars logo and a better view of the helmet from the front. Taking a look here at the back, where you would normally have some action features and stuff, you do have some reference photos of the helmet itself from the Clone Wars TV show, because this um, version of Commander Cody didn't appear in live action or any of the Star Wars movies. They are basing it off the Clone Wars. So taking a look at that right there, you can also see the dim dimensions of the helmet right there, and the helmet from a side view. Nothing really interesting on this side, just some stuff in different languages. So, let's take a look at the actual set. So, here we have the set itself, and before I get into that, I'm going to talk about the instruction booklet, just for a moment. Um, I never built a helmet set before, this is my very first one, and it does have that really interesting kind of greebling like you would see on some of the other Star Wars boxes, but on the instruction booklet, which is very interesting to me. Um, never seen that on any other... Lego Star Wars set. This might just be something exclusive to the helmet sets, but opening up the instructions to the first few pages, you can see some reference photos and stuff and an interview with the designer. If you want to take a look at that, feel free to pause the video because I'm not going to really read it out loud, but you do get some pictures of Commander Cody um, in action and stuff from the Clone Wars TV show. Um, not really anything else to show you in the instruction booklet, just the building process, which is really engaging. A lot of the first two bags is stuff like that, just a lot of um, side paneling so you can start building stuff on the sides of the helmet. But it is a very nice, engaging build, and I did have a lot of fun putting it together. And if you're a fan of not using a lot of stickers in a LEGO set, this is definitely the set for you. Here is the sticker sheet you get in this set. You only get seven stickers, and they are all very, very small. Um, most of them kind of go unnoticed for the most part, and I really like that about this set. It uses very few stickers, unlike the Captain Rex one, just because this is a simpler design. So, I really like that aspect of the set. But taking a look at the helmet itself, starting here at the very bottom, you have this really nice printed um, tile um, plaque thing. It is the LEGO Star Wars Commander Cody um, that is printed on there, which is amazing, because I wouldn't want that to be a sticker, especially when you're paying so much money for a set like this. It is great that that is printed, but taking a look at the actual stand, not a whole lot to say about it. I believe that is the same um, base style that all the helmets come in, so just giving you guys a 360 of that. It is very plain. It doesn't need to be anything flashy, of course, because that is not the main appeal for a set like this, but I do want to say that it is very sturdy. There is a Technic beam on the inside, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, snapping in half or anything because it is supported like that so that was a really nice design choice for this set so you don't have to worry about that kind of falling off the base or anything so taking a look at the actual helmet this is just amazing if you guys watched my ranked video for the year of 2023 i had this set i believe at like fifth place or sixth it was relatively low on the list i remember but after getting the set in hand and after building it I think I might have been wrong. This set just looks so, so nice. I remember looking at the box and the pictures, and I wasn't really a huge fan of it, 
But having this in hand and building it myself, just wow. This set is just amazing. And the amount of detail and the way it was built, just to kind of get these slopes and these corners and like to make it look as smooth and less blocky as possible, it's just amazing. Um, yeah, I'm not even really sure where to start with the overall build. I guess kind of the visor area. This is all kind of built in sections. I'll snap some of this off so I can show you just kind of how that's put together. You have some hinge pieces and stuff right in there. And you just snap the rest on like that to get the kind of T-shape on the visor. It is very, very nice. I kind of wish that this orange part here would have gone out at least one more stud because I think kind of in the pictures it does poke out just a little bit more but I don't know that might be something I could mod myself but just how you get the kind of shapes on this helmet like taking off this little panel here you can see you kind of build at an angle which is just amazing I mean I really applaud the designers for this set i um, kind of struggling to get that back on there but I really applaud the designers of this set just because of you know how long something like this must have taken them to really kind of put this whole thing together, kind of give it that round uh, shape. It's just incredible. Uh, I dropped the plaque there, um, but I'm not really sure how to even review something like this because um, there's no play features, of course. This is a display model, um, but there are some more of the stickers there on the sides. Um, yeah, I just really like this. I'm really excited to build up some more of these. I got the Luke Skywalker's helmet for Christmas as well, so I'll make a review on that one as well. You do get this antenna piece that can kind of move up, down, all the way around. It's on a ball joint, but it's not supposed to. I've never seen that move in the show or anything like that. The orange fin on the top looks very nice as well. That is all smooth and tiled off, so that looks really nice. You have this red light right there on the top of the orange visor. Another really nice detail, just the amount of detail on this thing is insane, and just like the building process for this was also just great. I mean, I can't really think of a negative thing to say about this. Um, I just think it's amazing looking, and I'm going to really excited to display this and find a prominent place on my shelves to display this. It's just amazing. So there is my review of the Clone Commander Cody helmet, and I'm still kind of struggling to find something negative to say about this. Um, that's not like being super nitpicky, like right here on the very front of the visor, if I just move it down a little, you have those holes right there kind of, but to me they're not super prominent, and I don't think it matters. I mean, with the the technique that was put into this, I cannot think of a better way that could have been done it just looks so amazing and yeah this set 10 out of 10 i'm gonna be honest this is a perfect lego star wars set it just looks so so nice and you also kind of have a bit of a customizable option here if you wanted to i'm sure you could take the visor off some of the orange bits and kind of make it into a regular phase one clone trooper helmet if you wanted to but they don't give you that option with the set of course um but yeah you can do that if you wanted to which i think is kind of cool um maybe i'll switch some of these parts out to make like a green clone trooper or something i don't know um but yeah this is a perfect lego star wars set uh it doesn't come with a minifigure and i don't think it needs to this really can just stand on its own um and yeah, this is a 10 out of 10 LEGO Star Wars set. I believe for the original price, though, for $70, it is a little steep for what you're getting. Um, for $55, which is kind of what the price on this is now, I would go for it. Um, yeah, 20% off its original price, essentially, on Amazon. Again, I have that affiliate link down below if you want to use that. But I would definitely jump and get this set if you are thinking about getting one. I just think it is perfect. Um, but yeah, that is going to be it for my review on this set. Let me know what you guys think about this down below and what you guys want to see me review next. 
like I just said, I do have that affiliate link in the description down below if you want to purchase this set using it or any other LEGO Star Wars sets like the new Battle Pack. Please feel free to use it. It really helps out my channel and I'll be using that money to upgrade my equipment and stuff for this channel as well as buying some LEGO sets um, for the channel. But with all that said, I hope you guys are having a great day. And if you liked today's video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel if you're new here. But I'm the Jedi Brick. Have a great day. Bye.